The following video is about to demonstrate deployment of an Altion device in Amazon Cloud. Log in to Amazon Portal and navigate to Services. Select VPC, located under Networking and Content Delivery. Navigate to your VPCs and create a new VPC. Provide a name and an IP address range for the new VPC. Navigate to subnets and create a new subnet. Provide a name for the subnet, select the newly created VPC and provide an IP range for the subnet. Repeat the steps for another subnet. Provide a name for the subnet, select the newly created VPC and provide an IP range for the subnet. Navigate to Internet Gateways and create a new Internet Gateway. Provide a name for the Internet Gateway. Select the new Gateway, open the Actions menu and click Attach to VPC, then choose the relevant VPC. Navigate back to Subnets. Select one of the new subnets. In the menu below, Navigate to Root Table and click the ID associated to the subnet. With the Root Table selected, navigate to Roots and click Edit Roots. Add a default root pointing to the Internet Gateway. It's also an option to add a name to this routing table. Navigate to Services and select EC2. Select Key Pairs and create or import a new key pair. Save the public key, it will be required for SSH. Navigate to Instances, click Launch Instance, search for Altion in AWS Marketplaces. Select a VM type. Note the memory and vCPU. Under Network, select the VPC. In the subnet drop-down select the management subnet. Then scroll down to Network Interfaces. Add another interface for the data traffic. Configure an IP address for both ETH0 and ETH1, then add another IP for ETH1. Consider adding a name to identify this instance. Note the security group settings and consider modifying the rules. Review instance configuration. Select the relevant key pair and launch the instance. Navigate to Elastic IPs under Network in Security, then allocate two new IPs. Navigate back to Instances, select the Altion instance. Scroll down to ETH0 and click on its interface ID. Copy the interface ID, navigate to Elastic IPs, then select one of the IPs and in the Actions menu select Associate Address. Select Network Interface, paste the copied ID and select the previously configured private IP. Repeat the process for the second interface of the Altion instance. This time select the secondary IP, this IP will be used for the service. Use the IP of ETH0 to log into the new device. 
Note the SSH connection to the device requires the public key from the previously configured pair, and the default port is 2222. Configure the data interface corresponding with the configuration of ETH1. In some cases we may want to disable TLS version 1.3. Create another instance that will act as the application server. Configure the service in the Altion. In this example the app server security group only allows traffic from 10.0 class B subnet, also, the Altion was not configured as the app server's default gateway, thus proxy IP is required. Use the elastic IP associated to ETH1 to test the application. 